Vidra College, Grade 3, Environmental Studies, Plants, Trees and Creepers, Part 2. Hello my dear children, hope you all are doing well. First of all, let's see what are we going to learn today. Today, we are going to learn about essential factors to grow plants, different shapes of leaves, and uses of plants and trees. Today we are going to continue our lesson Plants, Trees and Creepers with some other interesting topics. Before we start our lesson, I will recall some important facts we learned in our previous presentation. Can you remember children? We learned classification of plants. As we learned, we can classify plants into few different groups. Do you remember the groups? Okay children, here are the groups. Trees, shrubs, herbs and creepers. In here, mango, jack, coconut are some examples for trees. Rose, tea, coffee are some examples for shrubs. Grass, balsam, paddy are some examples for herbs. And cucumber, pumpkin and watermelon are some examples for creepers. Can you remember children? We learned about plants in the school premises as well. In here, herbs and shrubs like balsam, grass and mondocudumbia also trees like jack, mango, coconut and also creepers like kajaru and cucumber can be found in the school premises. Okay children, if you can remember, we also learned about parts of a plant. These are the parts of a plant. Flower, fruit, stem, leaf and roots. Okay children, now it's time to start today's lesson. Essential factors to grow plants. As we all know, plants need some factors for its growth. These things are provided by the natural or artificial environment where the plants live. If any of these elements are missing, they can limit the plant growth. Now, Let's see what are these essential factors. Water. Plants need water to survive. Without water, plants become stressed and die. A plant absorbs water through its roots. Water nourishes the plant and hydrates it. Soil. Plant growth is affected by the amount of moisture and air in the soil and by the temperature of the soil. Sunlight. The sun has an extremely important effect on plants. In fact, they cannot live without it, since they use the energy from sunlight to generate food. Air. Air is needed for the roots primarily to allow the plants to breathe. If air is not available to the roots, it can cause the roots to fail. When this happens, roots cannot absorb sufficient water and nutrients to the plant. Enough space. A plant's roots need space so that they can spread out and absorb water and nutrients. When plants grow too close together, they have to compete for these resources. Fertilizer. Fertilizers provide plants with nutrients which allow plants to grow bigger, faster and to produce more food. So children, as we learned, plants need sunlight, soil, water, air, enough space and fertilizer for their growth. Okay children, now we are going to learn about different shapes of leaves.
plants can be grouped according to the shape of the leaf. The first one is oval shaped. An oval shaped leaf has an oval shape. The widest part of the leaf is in the middle. There are many plants with this shape of leaves like jack leaf, orange leaf and cottonball leaf. The second shape is needle shaped. Needle shaped leaves are narrow, long, pointed, thin leaves that resemble needles. As examples, grass and bamboo can be taken. The third shape divided into small leaves. These leaves are very small leaves. Turmerind, Kadramurunga and Nidikomba leaves can be taken as examples. When we talk about Nidikomba plant, it is well known as Mimosa and also known as Sleeping Plant. The fourth shape is Palm Shaped. Palm Shaped leaves have the shape of our palm. There are many leaves with palm shaped. As you can see in these pictures, castor, manioc, pepper and breadfruit leaves can be taken as palm shaped leaves. The fifth shape is round shaped. The round shaped leaf edge is smooth and round without having any special features. As examples, Coca-Cola and Lotus leaves can be taken. Okay children, now it's time to do a small exercise. In here, you have to draw the following shapes of leaves and give an example for each shape. First one, oval shaped. Second one, needle shaped. Third one, round shaped. Fourth one, palm shaped. Okay children, let's check your answers. First one, oval shaped. You can draw the oval shaped leaf as shown in the picture. Then examples for oval shaped leaves are jack, orange, cottumber. Second one, needle shaped. Here also you can draw the needle shaped leaf as shown in the picture. Examples are grass and bamboo. Third one, round shaped. You can draw the round shaped leaf as shown in the picture. Cotucola and lotus leaves can be taken as examples for round shaped leaves. Fourth one, palm shaped. You can draw the correct shape of the palm shaped leaf as shown in the picture. Examples for palm shaped leaves are castor, Manioc, Papo and Breadfruit. Okay children, now we are going to learn about uses of plants and trees. As we all know, there are many uses of plants and trees. Number 1. Provide food. Plants give us vegetables, fruits, seeds, yams and many more. We get food from different parts of plants. We eat roots, leaves, stems, flowers, fruits of plants. Number 2. Provide flowers and medicine. Flowers' importance in nature is everywhere. They can feed insects, birds, animals and humans as well. Plants 
plants also provide natural medicines for humans and some animals. Number three, trees give us shade. On a hot day, nothing is better than the shade of a tree. We gather under the cool shade they provide, especially during outdoor activities. Number four, trees cool the environment. Trees cool the environment by a process. As trees release water into the atmosphere from their leaves, Via transpiration, the surrounding air is cooled as water goes from liquid to a vapor. Number 5. To make furniture. There are various trees used for furniture depending on their desired characteristics. For example, in order to get the durable material, some particular type of wood is used. When we talk about wood, teak wood is very famous in furniture making. Number 6. To make papers and clothes. To make papers from trees, the raw wood has to be turned into pulp. This pulp is made up of wood, fibers and chemicals that are mixed together. We also use some plants and trees to make clothes. Number 7. Trees prevent soil erosion. A tree's large root system acts as a bind toward any loose soil surrounding the tree. The roots hold the soil in place while stabilizing the tree and improving the drainage of the soil. Okay children, now it's time to do another small exercise. In here, you have to write three uses of plants and trees. Okay children, let's check your answers. These are the uses of plants and trees. Provide food. Provide flowers and medicine. Give us shade. Trees cool the environment. To make furniture. To make papers and clothes. Trees prevent soil erosion. You can write any three answers. Well done children. Okay, my dear children, I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. So, stay safe at home. See you soon. Bye-bye.